YouTube. Thank you for stopping by, checking out our YouTube page, checking out our YouTube channel. Uh, those who are new to my channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I got a big day today. Uh, I've been really, really wanting to do this for a long time and just, uh, just tough decision. So, um, hit a million views. That's definitely an accomplishment um, that I'm proud of. And from this point on, uh, I've been using GoPro. Actually, right now, this is actually recorded on GoPro, to be quite honest with you. However, I think a GoPro is going to be a thing of my past. Insta360 is the future. So, uh, here it goes. Quite an expensive journey. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, this is all <laughs> out of my own pocket. Um, so, I'll, let's see what we got here. I was a little disappointed, to be honest with you, when I sell a package because I saw all this taping. It took the time to tape all this. And then I saw some. Looks like double side sticky tape. When I was a teen, I worked at UPS, and I know sometimes, and I'm not saying all, but certain carriers have sticky fingers, especially when they say certain names on it, who they're coming from. So you're seeing it as well as I am for the first time, and I'm hoping that nothing's missing. Here we go. So this is the fast chart, fast charging hub the, for the 3X. I chose to go with the fast charging hub because um, I don't want to necessarily have to wait and charge the battery through the camera itself. So I want to be able to have all three batteries charged, um, or if one is dying, then go ahead and throw this in a charger, uh, whether it be in my car, whether it be at home, wherever. Uh, I definitely like this coming from a GoPro. Uh, I know that. Uh, high HD cameras just go through batteries like crazy. So uh, I spent the extra money and actually bought this. Uh, and this was $49.99. Again, uh, you know, the price is subject to change at the time. This is going to be at YouTube for a long time, so I'm not sure what they will be at the time that you buy it, but that's what I paid for it. <laughs> the camera itself. It's a 360 3X. Here we go. So there's going to be a ton, a ton of videos on this, uh, why I chose this camera. You know, it's, it's unusual uh, for any type of manufacturer to come out with um, a bunch of new products at the same exact time. Normally, like, they're going to come out. It seemed like Insta360 actually came out with, <laughs> like, three different cameras, like, shortly within a time frame. And there's pros and cons to everything. Uh, and I'll, in another video, maybe go over why I decided to do this. But I did do my research. I did watch a lot of YouTube videos uh, as well as other people who purchased them uh, and, and what they liked and disliked and I definitely chose. I think this was my uh, best uh, option for what I do. Oh, and what did I pay for it? I paid $449.99. You're going to see some of these products. Um, I, I will be honest with you, I am an Insta360 uh, uh, influencer. So any of the links in the description below, if you click on it from Insta360, I will get a kickback. It won't cost you any more money, but it will support the channel, so I would appreciate that. I'm also going to have Amazon. And you're going to say, why are you doing that, Rick? Well, I am an Amazon affiliate as well. But the reason is because with something so new on the, on the market, like, sometimes like you have to spend extra money. Like I actually saw that on Insta360, this was $100 cheaper than it was on, on, on Amazon. Uh, buying it direct and a lot of times most manufacturers the same price so I like the fact that they gave you the savings by purchasing this direct um, but if you really want the camera and you can't find it or they're sold out and Amazon has it sometimes you just gotta do it uh, this is the lens cap cover um, huge 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 everyone really talking about um, this camera that um, you know you get a scratch it's shot right because it's because the way it, sh it shoots uh, 360 footage, that if there's a s slight little scratch or uh, anything, any imperfection in the lens itself, it's going to show. So I bought this. Um, I did buy the extended warranty for uh, the manufacturer warranty, which is one year. I didn't buy the uh, accidental coverage, which is for one year. I'm sorry, I bought, the ex I bought the extended warranty for two years. I didn't buy the accidental warranty for one year. Uh, thinking about it now and actually talking to a couple people, other people who already own this camera, uh, I am going to go ahead and purchase the extended warranty. My thought behind that is that um, 
it's 45 bucks for one year. And it's kind of like, damn, you know, like uh, I've had GoPro, you know, I've used GoPros forever and I've never, ever had a problem with it um, as far as lenses. Um, there's a whole list of other problems. But I'm saying this, as far as me physically damaging the lenses, I've never had any of those type of problems. So I kind of like, no, I don't need it, you know. But at the same token, that it's so expensive to get it fixed that it did get scratched after really mad and $45 after... At the end of the day, all this gear is not worth anything um, if this camera is not any good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy that extended warranty. I'm going to spend the extra 45 bucks and get it. Um, they actually sent me an email, so kind of like, are you sure? So let's see what else we got here. <laughs> A battery. So I saw this in the, I saw this in the picture. Uh, so the battery itself, let's see, I paid $34.99. Um, and I did buy two because it said it came with one, so I bought two extras. I was a little worried. I'm, I want to actually open this box right now. And the reason is because on the GoPros, they have like this standard battery, and it's like this ultra battery. It's supposed to last longer or whatever. And it has this green or blue ring on it, just like it does in the package. And I'm almost curious to see if it um, is made by the same people because... The new batteries for the GoPros are horrible. Uh, they overexpand. Um, now it's cool. It comes actually in a nice little case. Uh, they overexpand. I've had them get stuck in my GoPro. All, all kinds of things. And it, honestly, it, I mean, it could be coincidental, but this this ring around here. See, do I have a battery in my pocket? I might, in a second, when I take a break, uh, grab a GoPro battery and just take a look at this. See if it has any. Let me see. Is it say anything that would, I would be able to? It does say that the, the uh, Chinese company who made it. So I will look at the GoPro and see if it's the same exact color, same exact brand. I'm sorry. Uh, and I hope that this doesn't have any problems with the battery, because like I said, with the, this, the GoPros with this blue on it, the ones that's supposed to last longer, I've had nothing but problems. Um, they have like a tag you're supposed to pull out. Well, different video, right? No, so let's not get sidetracked, but I was just concerned, so I, I want to double check that. So here's one battery, two batteries, and there should be one in there. So let's go. <laughs> this is the bullet time bundle. Uh, let's see what did I pay for this guy here. Bullet time bundle. I paid. $55 for this. Now this is pretty awesome. This is what everyone's going crazy over uh, and actually sending, you know, posting all these videos. This is where you actually attach the camera and you kind of spin it above your head like this. No, I'm not doing that. What's that song? I don't even know. But anyway, she knows what song I'm talking about. It's like a black guy singing a country song. Yeah, that one. But anyways, uh, I thought that was really cool. Uh, something I want to try out. I don't know if I use it all the time, but just one of those things that's, you know, Kind of cool that I think, you know, so each one of these accessories that you see too, um, I will do an individual video. This is just an unboxing video. I don't do a lot of unboxing videos. I only, I rarely do unboxing videos, to be honest with you. I don't do unboxing videos when it's something that's new, uh, techy, geeky, and I'm geeky into it, and, and, and I can't wait to show it, and I, I, I want to <laughs> open it and, and get to play with it. So as I get to use each one of these items, you know, then I'll do a separate review, you know, and show you. I'll show you some footage using this. So, you know, I'll, I'll do a follow-up and let you know how I think of these batteries because I already have area of concern. Uh, same thing with the lens cover. You know, same thing. How fast does it ch take to charge? Uh, is this charger standing up to par? You know, those are all the type of videos that will be follow -up. So everything you see, if you have any questions, uh, concerns, or you have any advice for me, um, you know, let me know. Uh, I went ahead and bought the Insta360 self-powered stick. Now you're saying, let's see, how much was this? This was um, $69.99. Why did I buy this? I bought this because a couple different reasons. So when I'm recording this video right now, right, like it's like standard, it's like hit click or on my phone, I hit record, and there's just like awkwardness where it's like starts to record. So I have to like stand here for a second and then start talking, right? But in the action recording, it can't really do that. So if you're not you, if this is on a stick and it's up in the air, you can't exactly hit 
cord. So, but if you use your phone, you can, but there's still that awkwardness of you on your phone and then hit record and then doing that and then you're trying to video edit that out. So the point that this would have it on the stick itself, you just hold it, boom, hit record, you're good to go. And then it, that it has a battery on it was really cool because it just extended the battery life. Just because like I said before, anything 4K, you know, 5.3K, these 360 cameras, they just tear through batteries, you know. Uh, and you're out somewhere, you're not at home, you're going to an event or you're going to go do something. And the last thing you want is not to have batteries. That sucks. And then it's like, ruins the point of you going, right? So I think this will really help. This is the extended edition selfie stick. So how much was this? This was $99.99. Uh, why did I get this? Uh, there's a $69 version. Um, I didn't get the $69 version because I saw a lot of videos on it and it looked like when they were holding it, like it looked like it was shaky, kind of like when you're pushing and pulling it out. The farther you extended it, the, the less the sturdiness it felt. Uh, and I also saw a lot of people saying that it felt like awkwardly heavy or weird and they were like, modding this thing on the bottom and putting a weight to kind of like not feel the heavy weight on their wrist. Um, so this is all made out of carbon fiber. Um, and that, that's pretty long. How long is this? Of course everything's, nothing's in like, uh, if I spoke Chinese or read Chinese, it's probably a lot easier. But uh, I believe it's like seven or eight feet. Let's see here. It says extend to 300 cm. Mm -hmm. I'll write in the description. You'll see something pop up here. <laughs> <coughs> so I wanted to do this video a lot sooner. Ah, oh, I've been dying sick. So all this has just been sitting. Um, I got a couple extra packages over there. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> I've just been bundling all this as I work this and everything's starting to show up. Let's see what we got here so far. That's it. So, um, this package came. I think it's with this stuff that I ordered. Let's see, hopefully. That should be like socks. <laughs> <coughs> That'd be funny. Okay, so, good topic. So, biggest thing, man, like I'm talking about people that who bought these cameras uh, is these lens covers. And like, it's like a love hate situation, right? Everyone's saying like, you need them, but it sucks. And they're going through the editing settings, they're through, you know, Adobe to try to eliminate, you know, play with the lighting, the contrasting, all that, you know, play with the settings within the camera itself, and you can see it. And it causes flares, you see glares, uh, and at certain points you can actually see the lens. Um, so there's like these premium lenses, you know, that you can buy and these like generic knockoff lenses people are making. And at the end of the day, it just seems like <laughs> when you have protection on, it's just not the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but sometimes you need it. That's all I'm saying. So maybe, I don't know, like, I, I, want, I want to try it. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. You know what I'm saying? I just want, I want to see it natural. Um, and then I might, you know, sometimes, we, well, not sometimes, we go on these Harley rides and I record it all the time, you know, and if a rock kicked up and chipped it, you know, I'd be really mad. Uh, has that ever happened to my GoPro? No. But if it just my luck, it happened that, you know? But the difference is, too, is that my GoPro is set up a little bit higher and I'm going to play with placement on my Harley. So if you have a Harley or you have a bike, uh, a motorcycle, bicycle, whatever it may be, and you are installing this camera on it to do some videos, you have some pointers on placement, hey, let me know. Do some comments in the comments description below. If you want to send me an email, send me email at rick.ramirez at rickstwocents.com. rick.ramirez at rickstwocents.com. So I'll play with this. I'm not 100% sold on them, but I got them just in case. So, um, I have, even though the GoPro itself was always waterproof, I always put an external case on it. So they've already came out with an external case for this. So even though they say that it's waterproof, to be honest with you, if I was to knowingly going to be taking it underwater, uh, I will be purchasing that case. At this point, I don't have any plans to, but uh, if, if I ever plan to actually physically take this underwater, 
I will purchase the external case and put it in it. Uh, but just knowing the fact that it's weather, uh, it's waterproof. Um, if it was to get wet right in the rain, uh, that would make me feel a little bit better that it's actually not going to get ruined. So let me see what else is in this box. Let me see if I actually have a charger. I'm assuming there's a, something's in here. some stickers, a charger, looks like a soft little case, and guess what they did? <laughs> <coughs> they iPhoned me. <laughs> what I mean by that is that there is no charger, there's no brick. I see everybody doing that. What's up with that, man? All this money? You can't give me a brick. You can't give me a charger? Come on, man. That's crazy. That's crazy that all these companies are doing that now, to be honest with you. That's just nuts to me. But, uh, yeah, let me get all this charged up. I'm super, 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 super excited. Um, I can't wait to do some magnet fishing videos. I can't wait to do some Harley videos. Uh, I can't wait to go to some really badass places in Chicago, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, bring this on vacation with me. There's just, man, I just have so many great ideas. So, welcome to the beginning of Insta360 introduction to my channel, uh, GoPro. I don't know, maybe I'll do a giveaway. <laughs> my wife will probably hang me all the money I have invested in GoPro. But at any rate, thanks for watching. God bless. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know um, if you have any advice for me. Yeah, you know, because this is going to be a learning journey. You know, it's going to be a curve. Uh, settings and just everything so just get ready for a ton of videos uh and be able to cover everything you know just bullet time is going to be really cool to do some of those videos uh, i think i really this is going to be my go-to stick with the power um and then when i'm out somewhere that i want to kind of get that drone feel or whatever this is why i use that extended stick um and i bought these versus some of the sticks that i already have uh because i want to check out the has that little hole so I can still use it. I have those adapters to use with my GoPro. So anything that I have in my GoPro, I will be able to kind of retrofit to do this because I bought those camera adapters. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm just super excited. So man, this is uh this has been something I've been really really wanting since it first came out. So I'm glad that I <coughs> I maybe not I didn't get it when it first came out. But I guess I could say I'm in, in the second stages, right? Because anytime something new comes out, there's, you know, there's bugs, issues that they work through. And then anytime there's something that comes out after the fact, it's the new improved version. So I now have the new improved version of the Insys 360 plus the X3. Great for a lot of videos. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. God bless.